Hey, this is David with Haggerty on a Redline Rebuilds. Now you see that our block is prepped, our heads are prepped, we're getting a bunch of stuff um, sandblasted and prepped so they're cleaned up parts-wise for our small block Chevy. The next thing to do is to get numbers to our guy that's gonna grind the crankshaft. Now the crankshaft needs to be refurbished uh, just to take any of that wear out of there, any dings, dents, so on and so forth from just usage. So the standard procedure is to have that ground. Now to have it ground, he can just cut it all willy nilly, but he needs some direction. So what I'm going to do today is go through my rods and my mains with bearings installed and measure this distance. So the initial jump is from standard size to 10 thousandths. Okay, so we're gonna grind our crankshaft 10 thousandths. So these bearings are 10 thousandths oversized, meaning this diameter is going to be 10 thousandths smaller than it would be from GM, let's say. Um, but what I need to do is verify this number and then give him a number that allows for oil clearance. Now, oil clearance is simply this. You have to have room for oil because the bearing does what the bearing does but oil is what lubricates everything. So if you don't have oil in between there, then obviously it's not going to work. So if we have line to line, or this diameter and the shaft diameter going in it are exactly the same size, first, this isn't gonna turn because there's not enough clearance for the oil to be and to allow rotation. Now, oil clearance is general rule of thumb is one thousandth of an inch per inch of shaft diameter. So if you have a rod journal of two inches, then it's gonna be 0 .001 times two, which is two thousandths. All right, well, because these were just resized, our caps are torqued in, so we gotta take these off first. All right, now to pop this cap off, I'll grab my handy dandy tool here. Get that to release. Make sure I have nothing on that surface. Install each bearing half. Make sure we get good lube on our threads, just as if we were putting it together for final assembly. Since we are trying to mock up our parts. Now back into the rod vise, torque the rod bolts down. and get our measurement. All right. And our bore gauge is set to 1.992. And this actually happens to be number six, but 0.992 is our dimension. And now continue with all the rest of the rod. Okay, rods are done. Now basically the same drill on the mains. And how do I know? I don't.
All right, so my torque specs on mains are 70 foot-pounds, but you want to do that in three incremental passes. And quite honestly, I did the same thing on the rods. Do it the same way. Any torque you want to increment up, pull things tight evenly. Here's my last pass. 70. Okay, so there's our last one. Now, here's my rockauto.com tip of the day. Measure every one of them. Don't assume that because you bought bearings from the same company, they're all marked correctly, that the measurements are the same. Because they might not be, stuff happens. And to go along with that, write everything down so you have a permanent record of what it is. Now all I gotta do is get these numbers off to Doug so we can get the crankshaft cut. And uh, that kind of does it for me today. So, but I got something interesting for you. You know, we go through, we do all these projects, we get some text messages, some emails, instant messages, what have you, of, hey, whatever happened to this project? Whatever happened to that one? Well, today, since I got my work done, I'm gonna roll over to the other shop where that Buick Straight 8 is found at home. So this is the 1951 Buick Super convertible. It's on a full modern chassis. Well, modern, it's Crown Vic, but more modern than 1950. And uh, it drives fantastic. It's a cruiser, so we're not gonna set any land speed records here. But it sounds great. Um, and I'm out for a cruise today, it's fantastic. So wherever you're at, whether it's sunny or raining, get out in the shop, get your work done, and turn something maybe musty and ugly into something nice. It's a nice boulevard cruiser. Right